So I am standing here with Jan McNeilan and we are going to be talking about our tips of the month. And I got to say, <laughs> this is it's lovely. It's not funny, William. <laughs> it's a little funny. <laughs> so it's clearly dead. Yes, this <laughs> is dead. It's a rhododendron, small leaf, small variety. Um, but this is a telltale sign. It doesn't have any roots. No, it doesn't. And it has three problems, had three problems. Um, one is the lace bug. Okay, yep. And um, the other is uh, root rot uh -huh. and drought. Okay, that, that sounds odd to me. Root rot would seem to be too wet and drought right. seems to be too dry. What does that mean? Well, it's in an area that gets way too much water. There's a drainage issue across this side of the landscape. Uh -huh. So in the winter, it gets a lot. Okay. And then in the summer, it doesn't get enough unless I water back there. And with the insect issue making it less thrifty yeah, plant, yeah. it finally went. But what happens with root rot is it literally rots the fe feeder roots. And then when it comes along and it's dry, it can't take any. It has in. nothing to live off of. So it, okay. it dies of no water and too much water. Yeah. Okay. That makes perfect sense. Now, yeah. uh, I see some, some bulbs that look very healthy still and some that yeah. look like they've given up the ghost. Well, the, this pot right here, I planted a whole lot of bulbs in pots. So these are about done just like normal out in the out in the garden uh -huh. and they've died down and now we'll just store these pots um, away from everything else and they're fine. I ha Because I got tired of planting in pots, I planted a bunch of daffodils in some of the raised beds in the vegetable garden. Yeah. And so, but I don't want them in there anymore. So I just pulled them up oh. and put them in a bucket of water. So okay. for now they're still living, they're still green, they're taking food into the bulb for next year. And then pretty soon I'll take them out, I'll replant them, and let them die down. So that'll take, what, four weeks, five mm -hmm. weeks, it's right around? I mean, well, I think I I'll probably be another couple weeks and I'll plant them. Okay. And then it'll take just a normal amount of time for it to die down. Okay. It won't hurt that at all. Now, this looks like cabbage. It is. Um, this is what cabbage looks like when you didn't plant it yet. Oh <laughs> and then... Jeff's going to take a picture of what it looks like the other four plants, which had three in each chamber here. Uh -huh. um, they're like this big wow. now. So you're saying that these, if you planted these still though, don't don't give up on them. Right. They're a little root bound, plant them and yeah, let them grow. Yeah, they'll be all right. All you have to do is just tug them apart a little bit, tease them apart, yeah. plant them, and then we'll have some more cabbage. There you go. I call that succession planting. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> So um, another thing, I had one big pot of basil with a lot of plants in it, and I'm, you know, you want to, you could grow it that way <coughs> all season long, but I wanted to make a lot more plants. So sure. what I did, they wanted to fall over. Uh -huh. So I just took some floral wire, <coughs> a cough for sure, um, some floral wire, and twisted them up to make them stand up till they get a little stronger. Oh, that was very clever. And then as it grows, you just simply I unwind just unwind it, it and pull them up. Yeah, wonderful. hopefully now, it'll work. I, what's what's going on there? <laughs> well, this happens a lot. This, this basil, by the way, is still in the greenhouse. I haven't put it outside. Okay. And, and it's mid-May, and and it's uh, a little early still. And this happens a lot in the greenhouse, and even after you put it out, this is uh, damping off or, or rot that hits basil easily, and the stems turn black, and it just mm -hmm. goes. Because the roots are still there. Yeah, they're just... there, but there's no way. See the 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 stem is completely, completely right. collapsed. So and there's so no way. so once that happens, just Yeah, just get up. rid of it and don't use that soil. Get rid of it the and okay. away from your um, other plants. So Jan, I see a couple of other things here. Yeah, um, one is a mosquito dunks. These can be put in water, uh, water features stagnant water uh -huh. uh, and it kills only the larval stage of mosquitoes. Nice. And pets can drink the water, squirrels and yeah, birds. Yeah, because it's an organic it, Yeah, or it's organic fine. Production. It just kills the larva stage. Great. So first of all, dump out any water that you have around uh, that you don't need to have. But if you have a feature that you want to make sure that you don't have mosquito yeah. breeding. And this is a growing your own tabloid put out by OSU. And this is an old copy, but uh, you can find it online oh, with nice. extension uh, communications with publications. And it has a list. What's nice about it is it has a list in the back of um, of planting dates oh. and when to plant them in what zones. And there's a map in here as well 
of the zones in Oregon, so you know where you are in Oregon and wh when to be able to plant And very convenient, vegetables. you can get that online. And you, speaking yeah. of vegetables, yeah. you've got some that I notice are grafted. I'm testing i you said that you carried some grafted tomatoes and ran right uh -huh. over and got some and this is a pepper um, and this is a a sweet orange bell pepper and i've had this um, this globe of water uh, it's like walls of water oh, except yeah, yeah. it protecting them a little bit so we'll see how it does because in theory, they're supposed to be really a lot more vigorous and a lot more produce coming from And them. I put it out when it was still a little cold. Yeah. And I have a tomato over there. It's a chocolate cherry tomato, and it's already coming out of the top. So it's grown about six inches wow. in a week. And, and this last week hasn't been really, really no, warm, so the no. weather changes still I should this be able to take year. these off pretty soon, and then um, we'll just see. I, and this is a, also a grafted tomato, and that, that's... You have to plant them at the level or above the graft yes. so that you're not going to have the graft sprouting on for you. But any other tomato you would plant deep. Well, Jan, you know, at this time of year, it seems like there's so much to do. You know, there we, is. We go hungry for things to do. And yeah. then in spring, there's so much to do. Yeah. So thanks for those tips. And as always, it's a delight spending time with you. All right. See you next month.